Okay, so Alison has asked if you can have more than one sign up form in MailChimp. Um, Technically, you need to have different lists to have different sign-up forms, but you can tweak and change a couple of things. So, um, you can use the form builder, and in the form builder, your sign-up form here, if it's going to load today, there we go, you can edit in here. Um, you can see I've got some hidden fields here that aren't showing, so you can kind of edit and tweak out this stuff, so I could change it and make that visible. That will only be visible on this form here so yep so anything you do here on this form would affect that one i'm not going to save um we also have another form that you can tweak now this is the subscriber pop-up so this is if you want to have it as a pop-up on your website so again you can make this different as well so you can go through this section here and edit it i'm not going to because i'm using actually no, i'm not using that one on my test list that's why Okay, you also can set up in campaigns a landing page. This is quite similar to the sign up form. So, the sign up form, I just want to copy that address to show you. So, the sign up form you can host on MailChimp. Um, you can't have the GDPR boxes. You can see I've got them turned off right now on there, and that's because I was messing around and testing on the test list. Obviously, you would probably have them turned on, but that is the sign up form. Okay, and your other one is if you go to campaigns and you click create campaign, you can do create a landing page. So, if I give it a title, you select the list that you want it to go to, and you, know, you then click begin. And you can see this looks very, very similar to actually creating a email. Um, so you can put anything you want to in here. You can put your different boxes in. You can drag other boxes over. You can do all sorts of things in here. And then once you save and continue, I don't know if it actually will let me. Oh, there you go. It will give you a page URL, but you do have to add, your, add a page title and that gives it the URL so you can see it adds it on the end here so you save that um, contacts will be added to your existing list so if you wanted to change where it's going to you can change that and obviously you get to design it which is where we were a second ago and you can tweak anything there you can tweak the colors and everything else you then have to publish this page so at the moment, that URL won't go anywhere and do anything until you publish the page. You can actually help have this URL. So let's open that up. Now you see this, this isn't going to look the same at all um, because I haven't tweaked it and played with it. You don't want to sit here and watch me doing, doing that. But you can see it is much more of a page rather than this us6listmanage.com. So you can see the URL is completely different. It's still a MailChimp URL, but it is less strange looking. <laughs> it's less, an affiliate link tends to look quite odd doesn't it and sometimes they look a bit scary and odd so people can be a bit dubious about clicking them so I'm actually using a landing page on handcrafted business at the moment on my um, sign up it was the quickest and easiest way to do it so yeah landing page I think I said landing page you can see that there. so you can see there's there's not really that much difference um, other than this is less branded for MailChimp and obviously this form has this on the bottom so you can have different forms as long as you use a different basis what you can't do is have different forms within this section so you can only do one in the form build you can only do one in the subscriber pop-up and you can only do one in the campaigns they are the areas that as long as you've turned on this enable GDPR fields that's where those will appear. So if you want to use those, it's, you can only do those three. If you don't want to use those and you've also got embedded forms, which you can use. Now, the other thing um, that you can use, if you want to do your, um, that's what I wanted. Come on, keep going, right. So the other thing you can do is use the profile um, button. So if you edit a page and do your insert and you do the file tag, um, it will do 
this it will include the unique ID for anybody you sign up to so if you saw my email that went out yesterday that included a link to say please let me know which groups you want to join so if you want to use that kind of system then let's go back to sign up forms you can in the form builder you can edit that page as well so you can go to update profile form and in here you can see it's all completely edit so you can edit this information at the top you can edit this you can remove that you can put a um picture in there see so your logo in there if you want to So we insert that one in there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We haven't got all day. I'm this fine now, so I might as well show it to you. To insert into page. So we now we'll put that there. I obviously clicked too quickly. It didn't quite take it. Or I didn't click the right thing as I was thought I was clicking. But it would put the picture in there normally. And you can tweak it and change this. You have less control on this section. You can control the section here. You control this section. You can control this. Um, but you can't delete them in the same way you can, can other things. It's going to show any groups that you have, don't that you've created that aren't hidden groups. It will show anything there. And then this is the GDPR information. Um, so yes, this, if you turn this customized online advertising off in your, um, sign up form, it won't show this here as well. It kind of mirrors it. So that's the link that I've kind of used in my email that went out yesterday to the form builder. Um, when I say the link, you have to do, 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 do. create campaign. Create an email. I'm going to get bored of all these testing um, titles. Okay, so when you design the email, you'd obviously fill all the other information in as well. But I just use the basic one column. I can't, you've got templates, you've got all sorts of different things you can use. I just always tend to use this one. Um, the way to include a link to the update profile page is use this merge tags scroll down and you want an update profile link and that's the short code really so if you know it you can type it in if not that will put I closed it down didn't I think that that link in and that link will include the individual's you um, ID so it puts their information up when you see it um that's it those are the ways um i don't know of any other ways that you can create something different for one list but actually you do have four different ways there which is why you can do it but you can't do it so just to recap very very quickly you can use the form builder and create a sign up form you can create a subscriber pop-up and create a pop-up that you can embed on your website you can create a landing page using in the campaigns and you can I um, tweak and adjust the user profile page as well and again that's through the form builder those are the only four places that if you want to use the GDPR compliant checkboxes that MailChimp are giving us they're the only places they will show if you're not bothered for those then you can have a an embedded form that looks completely different to this form but you can only have one of each one for each list other than in the embedded forms you can have a classic and you can use that you can have a super slim and use in fact I've not tested this in theory you could design this one and use that code you could design that one and use that code but you would need to check it um, you would need to check that obviously is working but in theory you could use different embedded forms as well in different places but the thing to remember here is a big part of GDPR is being able to know exactly where they've come from so make sure that you might want to use a simpler form but make sure the wording for everything that they're signing up for stays the same if you have that consistency if you have that you know exactly where people have come from um, that's going to make it so much easier for you to be GDPR compliant. Okay, that's it.
Speak soon.